institute, the Institute of Teaching of the Noahide Code, presents to you a program of studies, a program of learning sincerely and in depth and understanding the seven Noahide commandments and what is the Noahide command to every one of us. Our program presents two possibilities. The first possibility is to register to classes online, a weekly class that is open and will be presented by rabbis of the Institute that teach the seven Noahide commandments and all that is included in their teachings. The second possibility is to register to ready prepared videos that teach and allow the viewer to study and see according to his convenience and time and pace the laws of the Noahide Code. I will give the general frame of these programs, both of them. The program is built on a series of lectures or classes in regard to eight separate topics. The first topic is the recognition and understanding of the fundamentals of the faith. This includes understanding the source, the origins of the Noahide Code, the prophecy of Moses, the obligations put upon a person, prayer, service of God, repentance, moral conduct, and so on. This will be concluded in a series of classes presented, as we said, in one of the two programs available. The second topic is recognizing God, the true God, as God is the supreme being and the only creator, and he controls all. This is called the forbidden transgression of idol worshiping. The teachings of the idol worshiping include both a positive and a negative attitude. What is positive on a person? That he must connect himself to God and believing in God. In what does, it, what does that include? And the negative attitude is what is forbidden to man as idol worship and anything connected to idol worshiping. This, all these ideas will be collected and given in the second topic. The third topic is blasphemy, which means the importance of honoring God both in speech and in activity and that that we are forbidden to speak wrong about God as cursing and so on. The fourth topic the fourth topic is regard to murder, recognition of the importance of human life, honoring human life, not to murder other people, not to injure, not to hurt other people, and all the laws in, re in this regard will be in included in the fourth topic. The fifth topic is theft. The obligations of monetary property role between man and a fellow person. What we are obligated to our fellows and what we are forbidden to take their money without permission and so on. The sixth topic is the topic in regard to sexual, forbidden sexual relations. What is included? What a man may marry? What a man can marry? What type of life he can behave, how to behave in life, and what is forbidden to man. This includes marriage, divorce, and related topics. The seventh issue, the seventh topic is the laws reg regarding to the command that we are, f we are not allowed to eat flesh from a living animal. This includes the topics of cruelty towards animals, and in general, honoring the world that God created and using it correctly. This is a very wide topic that is important to us to understand uh, man's role in the world and how to relate to the rest of the world. That means not other people, but the rest of the world as animals 
and even vegetation and so on. The eighth and the last topic is the topic regarding to the laws of justice. Establishing justice, making courts that will rule just laws, establishing the laws that are appropriate to each country and each people, upholding them and obviously punishing those that go against the laws. All this is included in the topic of justice and many other ideas and laws related to social justice that uh, this is the eighth and last Noahide command.